Good morning. It's a little later than usual. I had to take my grandparents to their doctor's appointment today, so I was like, I'm not going all the way to work and back. I think we're going to get into some dangerously high water soon. Uh, I've already seen that the rivers are extremely high and flooding out people's yards. Look at this. These are a Thursday. Squeaky floor, early morning, rainy day vibes. And that right there was a good outfit reveal. Bam! You're welcome. I want to try to finish watching the documentary I started, which is Miss Sharon Jones. Miss Sharon Jones is about Sharon Jones of Sharon Jones and the Dap Kings. I hadn't heard of Sharon until 2015 because in 2015 I I helped Brent and Josh do their 24 hour live YouTube marathon and one of their guests happened to be Sharon Jones. Very sadly, she passed away last year. Our last song for the Beacon 1802 Marathon was dedicated to her. Because she's just, she's such an inspirational human being. Like, you're not going to be disappointed if you watch this documentary. Look at the mud! Ew! This is what happened when we went to get the old b-ball! <laughs> I got out of work and it was downpouring, like end of the world raining. <laughs> but I did something I've never done. I successfully used my umbrella. I feel like a super badass. <laughs> it didn't blow away. It didn't go inside out. It didn't like blah, 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 and just soak me more than not using the umbrella. It was amazing. Recently I started watching Once Upon a Time again. I left off when they brought on Elsa. I was like, okay, I need to take like a two-year break from this and come back later. I think I needed the break to remember how much I loved it. I had the most uncomfortable moment where I realized that I had never seen Robert Carlyle's arms on the show before. <laughs> I felt like I was invading on a very private, personal moment just because I saw his biceps. <laughs> it was like, it was so weird. Um, my dog isn't feeling very well. I found out last night after Amy and I recorded the vlog. So, I'm at Kmart and I'm gonna go get him a get well toy. Feel better, poo poo. It was like a two second trip because I found the best thing as soon as I walked through the doors. My mother is going to kill me, but it had to happen. So, look at this. It's the biggest stuffed little chickadee. Oh my god. Randomly today, uh, I was talking to Mythical Laura on Twitter because she posted this thing that she's like, I am so Rimmer. And I was like, get the F out of here. No one knows what Red Dwarf is except for me, Angela, and Ben. How does someone else know what Red Dwarf is? And sure enough, it was Red Dwarf. And I've never been happier to find someone else who knows what I'm talking about. Related and kind of necessary. I gotta do it. I gotta do the salute. Like it's just gotta happen. So, all right. So we're coming up on this area that's usually just a grassy like lawn, but because of all the rain, I noticed this this afternoon when I came in. Um, it's a pond. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. That's supposed to not be there. None of that should be there. I thought I'd show you some of my decorations that I have up on my walls because I think they're pretty awesome and I think people will like them. So here we go. First off, we've got the amazing, incredible, invincible Iron Man that Amy got me. And then over here, I have a map of the world. And the U.S. is like gold. It's fantastic. Here's my diploma that says, hey, you know history. I got a certificate for my work in libraries. Over here, Mythical Lucy would love this. Amy got these. I want to say she got them at a charity auction. She has the baby picture of Link signed, and I have Rhett. 
because she is Link and I am Rhett. This is Amy's favorite thing ever, okay? I'm about to show you her favorite thing in my apartment. Um, here's a four generation picture of me with my mother, my grandmother, and my great grandmother. Look at my face. Amy loves it. She cracks up every time she sees it. And that little hat. Oh god, I hated it. I hated it. I hate, I hated it so much. Up here we got a cool little octopus. I have this cute picture of all these little succulents and cacti and I love it. This was here when I moved in. It's literally glued to the wall. I cannot take it down. <laughs> Fun fact, next to my map there is this, which is Velcro where they stuck another one. <laughs> Over here, he's not hung up, but I do have my giant poster of Bilbo Baggins, The Hobbit. I have a partial teapot collection. Oh, and up here, I have some pop figures. These are the only ones I have. I'm not like super into them, but people give them to me and I love them. My house wouldn't be complete without a TARDIS cookie jar. I got a tiny envelope and now I'm gonna open it. what I got. I really like pins, which could be its own vlog, but I got this pin by Mutant Gold on Etsy, and now I'm going to show my mother, and I'm going to show you, show you her reaction. That's mama. <laughs> so, we're in my bedroom because I realized I didn't show like two of my prized possessions. <laughs> One of my favorite things that I own is this like metal sign from the job switching episode of I Love Lucy. And then next to it, I finally hung up the picture that, uh, or I should say print, the print that Amy did of the Beekman boys with their table outside the house. Any Beek geeks will know exactly what I'm talking about, but for the, the new people that have no idea, this is what the print looks like. And it's amazing. I love it. And it's signed. I am literally the worst at recording and ending. It always cuts off. So I'm gonna like let it simmer. And I'm just gonna say thanks for watching guys. I hope you all like the video. Uh, feel free to comment on my materials and tell me how much you love them too.